My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. Support the site through the Amazon links and the donate button at counterpropa. Share the petition below to demand the DNC give its computer servers to the FBI. The FBI requested these computer servers. They're at the heart of the entire Russian hacking nonsense. And yet the DNC has yet to give its servers for any examination uh, from any government agency. So share the petition below. Trump stands by wiretapping allegation. The spying of Trump is not an allegation. So this is very important. It's very important because, and I appreciate you bearing with me. I am a Bernie Sanders pretty hardcore supporter. And I appreciate both left and right who watch that, that watch this channel when I focus on Hillary Clinton or the Russian hacking or the fact that the Democratic Party is corrupt. I do so from the vantage point of somebody who was cheated and was cheated by a political organization that doesn't care about progressive values. Issues that I care about, like breaking up too big to fail banks. They only cared about power. So what they did was they stomped and bullied and destroyed a movement that was growing. The fact that the same people are now using the same, the same tricks against Trump, that's very much what I'm against. The spying happened. I have been saying for a week, the spying took place. President Obama did not order the wiretap single-handedly, unilaterally. That's not the way Democrats work. What happened, and I've explained this many times, and this is actually what the White House eventually went ahead and, and explained on their own. Trump was is on tape. So that will eventually come out. But Trump is on tape speaking to Flynn, everybody else in his campaign that was wiretapped, that was spied on. But I'll read you. Trump, uh, President Trump stands by his accusation that the Obama administration tapped his phones. The Obama administration. So there you go. The initial tweet was not true from Trump. But like everything that Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton say and have stated in their lives, it's always semantics. When you let Hillary go, and this is why I focus on Hillary Clinton, when you allow Clinton to say it was for convenience, they were yoga emails, I misspoke when I talked about when I said I survived Bosnian sniper fire, then you lend and you pave the way for all of this. So don't complain if you're a Democrat that hates Trump. Don't complain. You paved the way for all of this. And this isn't even a big scandal. Special access program intelligence on an unencrypted server definitely hurts national security. There's no question. This doesn't, there's no scandal here. There's no quid pro quo. There's nothing. If anything, there are greater ties, I explained in my last segment, to uh, between Podesta, Clinton, uh, and the Russian government. But President Trump stands by his accusation that the Obama administration tapped his phones during the 2016 presidential campaign. The White House said, despite three senior lawmakers rejecting Trump's claim. Trump today, just now, stood by his, his statement. The overall issue, and March 20th is the deadline to go to, that's what, this Monday. March 20th is going to be a very interesting day because everything, hopefully, will come out in terms of the spying that took place. Very simple. This is for Hillary bots. I hope you're watching. President Obama spied on Donald, on President Trump, President-elect Trump, because only reason Hillary spent $1.2 billion and lost miserably. They found nothing. The FBI found nothing. The Department of Homeland Security and FBI report doesn't even mention WikiLeaks. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence only says that their assessment with high confidence links WikiLeaks to Russia. That's it. There is nothing certain. If you are going to write about this as a journalist and, and, and convey that it definitely happened, then make sure or make, make, make certain that the FBI, the CIA, the NSA, all of them are 100% certain. They're not. They're not. The servers, the DNC servers have never been analyzed. It is all baloney. It all ties back and people say, oh, you know, why don't you stop talking about Bernie? There are other channels, both left and right, that you can go and there's cheerleaders for the kind of the, the pure ideology of the left or the right. This channel is very interesting because <laughs> it's 
from a Bernie supporter who and a Jill Stein supporter who was cheated by the Democratic Party, a very corrupt organization. So there's something for everybody here. But if you're going to say, oh, well, you know, uh, H.A., why are you talking about Hillary and the Democratic Party, focus on Trump, all this, the same things that led to President Trump are, the Democrats are repeating themselves. They are perpetuating myths, hiding behind semantics, only focusing on the lies or the, the, the misstatements or the, or the things that are not true with Trump and letting the same situations pass when it's Hillary Clinton, actually ignoring the national security issues with Clinton, which are far greater than anything that's taken place. You can disagree with Trump's budget. I do as well. But in terms of national security, that server that Clinton had, the private server for yoga emails, unencrypted, that hurt national security because it was hacked into. And there's a greater chance, a far greater chance that it was hacked into than Russia and Russian intelligence and Trump working together because they knew the DNC cheated Bernie Sanders. Give me your thoughts below. The FBI already cleared Donald Trump in, in, New, York, in the New York Times article in October. Uh, in the Washington Post article, FBI wiretapped uh, General Flynn, found nothing, no link. There is no link. Even the CIA, a for, um, the, the possible fu or future CIA chief under Clinton said there's smoke but no fire. And nobody, nobody has been able to explain how Trump benefits Russia. President Obama did nothing when they invaded Ukraine. President Bush did nothing when they invaded Georgia. And Russia doesn't have the the economy we do. They're not going to go tell me what other country they've invaded aside from bordering nations with them. I'm not defending Putin, but tell me how they're this global um, danger. This is all neocons through the Democratic Party espousing their ideology. And that's another big problem. If you're a progressive or Democrat or whatever, and you allowed Bush's neocons into the party without even saying anything, you're the reason Trump won. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.